Hi everyone, I'm Arun Malve and welcome back to Good Shoes. This video covers configuring Oh My Posh on my Mac laptop and customizing terminal prompts for a professional and artistic look. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far and learning something new, take a quick moment to like, share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon. Let's open the browser and search for Homebrew installation on Mac. And you could see that there is a documentation for the installation of the Homebrew. Once you open it, there will be brief uh, explanation on installation and advanced configuration and also the prerequisites for installing Homebrew. Homebrew is simplifies installing and managing softwares on the Mac OS. It's a package manager for Mac OS and there is also an installation. So let's go ahead and copy this link for the homebrew installation and paste it in the terminal window. And once you hit enter, this should start installing the homebrew on your PC. The command downloads and installs homebrew from its official repository. Once it's completed, you can copy the home and check the version to confirm the installation is successful. And let's open another browser and type in oh my posh and right click and open in the new window and you should see the oh my posh why oh my posh the customization your terminal prompt it's ideally for developers system administrator anyone who values a production terminal experience and it gives you a clear view of useful details like git status python version and kubernetes context let's move ahead on installation click on the tab and click on the Mac OS on the left hand list and copy the command and type in the command brew to check if the brew is already installed on the PC and paste the command which you copied for brew install and it will start to run the installation after the command is executed. Once it's completed, go back to the page Oh My Posh and copy the update and upgrade Oh My Posh to ensure you are on the latest version and paste it in the terminal. This will install or ensure the latest version is. I'm opening the font in the new window and I'm going to install the Fira Code Nerd font. There are many themes or many font use special symbols and icons that requires nerd font so let me select the fira code and it will start installing once it's completed go back to the browser page and it's the same command which you could copy and paste it in the terminal instead of selecting from the list. Let's configure your shell for oh my posh. There is a shell command which you could use it but we're going to you can configure your shell with oh my posh to detect the shell by just typing oh my posh space get hyphen shell. And let's configure oh my posh for zsh. So I'm going to copy the command and paste it in the terminal window. So this will apply a default theme. So we're going to set and explore the theme. We're going to copy the command for the homebrew and paste it in the terminal and execute that by hitting the enter key. Once it's completed, you need to see the theme would change. You need to open a new terminal window and see the changes applied, something like this. And you can go back to the browser page under the themes list, you would be able to see multiple themes listed under the page. And before doing that, we need to open the ZSH RC profile, type in the command, which you see it on the screen and go back to the browser and search for Apple theme copy it and paste it in the zsh underscore theme equal to apple 
once it's done source it and reopen the terminal window to see the effect or the changes once it's completed go back to the browser page and search for bira and change it to the zsh underscore theme equal to bira and save the file once it's done source it again and open a new terminal window to see the changes once you reload and open a new terminal window view the changes I hope you enjoy customizing your terminal with Oh My Posh. It's a small change, but a big impact on productivity and aesthetics. In the next video, I will be covering auto suggestions and syntax highlighting to make your terminal very smarter. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Good Shoes. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.